Uh, better late than never, right? <laughs> Welcome to another uh, What Are You Doing, Bozo, for 2021, ostensibly. It's July 4th. Happy Independence Day if you're an American. I am. So that means 2021's only half over, so, you know. <laughs> uh, I've been later before. Um, I guess I just want to talk about, like, why I haven't uploaded quite as much this year, uh, and what my plans are moving forward, so just that people who are interested can know. And as always, we're watching, uh, a game that I thought was pretty, uh, memorable from a tournament in 2020, the last year, so... Uh, as always, go ahead and write in the comments what do you, uh, what game you think it is, like what series and what map, and if you're wrong, I shall mock you bitterly. So, that'll be fun times. Uh, but yeah, what is there to say? Um, obviously, we didn't run that many tournaments this year. Uh, well, not yet anyway, I mean, year's only half over. I planned a kind of an ambitious uh, string of tournaments that I wanted to run, like one pretty much every month, you know. And, uh, I don't know, somehow the hype just kind of died for me, like... I don't, hmm, how do I say this right? I feel a sort of an obligation to Homeworld, you know what I mean? Because I really, I really love this series, you know? And I feel like I can, you know, in some way help it to succeed, right? And so I feel like this, this obligation to do that. And maybe I just kind of tired myself out by going a little too hard and, you know, trying to... Uh, almost like convince people to be excited about it. It's not really not really very fun to do so We ended up only running. I think this year. We've only run two so far and I want to run another one uh, We had a new patch come out that I'm really excited for but you know a lot of people in the community just uh, Kept being very pessimistic about it. It's just it was very tiring to, to deal with so That's kind of my fault. I apologize for that um, Yeah, you know, I just I don't know I feel like, uh, I feel like I'm not as excited about DOK as I used to be, which is really sad because it's still, you know, it's still a great game. It's got nothing to do with the game, it's just got to do with, you know, I feel like, uh, I don't know. I feel like it's hard to, it's hard to rally people to really get excited about it and it's difficult to deal with all the pessimism, so. Um, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna give up, you know, just that I'm a little discouraged. And then, uh, I've got to admit, I got addicted to Mountain Blade Warband as well. <laughs> Which, for some reason, I started playing against, so that didn't help, but, you know. But, I mean, I want to keep, you know, I want to keep organizing tournaments and casting them. That's something I really enjoy doing. That's something really fun for me, so. Uh, hopefully, you know, you'll see more of that in the future. A lot of people ask me about, um... Riding it like we stole it, you know, the Homeworld Remastered with only Salvage Corvettes. I really am interested in doing more of those, I've got to say. But, like, I feel like it was this really cool idea, but I did those videos very lazy, you know what I mean? I just kind of uncut, like, um, played the game and just sort of, you know, uh, just uploaded them raw like that, right? And m maybe I'm too much of a perfectionist, but in my mind, I'm like, this is a really fun idea. I want to I wanna make these videos great, you know what I mean? So I want to, like... That was a big fight there, by the way. I want to, you know, I want to edit them more, but I'm really not very good at video editing. So I've been trying to learn um, Adobe Premiere Pro because at my university, I can get a subscription to that for free as long as I'm a student, which I am, so... Um, it's a lot harder than the trash I was using before. <laughs> This program called Movavi, I would not recommend it, but it was it was convenient because it was very cheap and uh, easy to use. So, but that's you know a long way of saying I am interested in still making those videos. I just I'm I don't know cripplingly lazy, I guess. <laughs> um, but a lot of my motivation for doing fun projects on YouTube has kind of died as well, not because I don't enjoy it, but because I just feel really. Uh, I don't know. I've I've had kind of a tough year, I guess. Um, so it's not been so easy to be motivated for things. Um, I'm still trying to debate whether or not I want to talk about it, but let's, let's go for it. Uh, a lot of you probably know that I was dating a girl who, um, showed up on the stream quite a few times, Sarah, right? And what's been really hard this year is that we were going to be married. She asked me to marry her. Uh, and I said yes. And, you know, our wedding date's coming up in, like, 13 days. <laughs> But one day she backed out very suddenly and 
it's been really hard for me to, to handle that, you know. As, you know, you, you might expect, but... Um, that's the reason, I guess, for a lot of my kind of disappearances here, that I just... You know, I've needed time to spend on myself. Um, because it's hard to deal with, you know, losing her so suddenly. So... Uh... And obviously, there's you know, there's there's a whole story there. Maybe maybe I'll tell it someday, but that's all I'll say for now. Another thing that I'm really excited for this year, though, I just got this uh, this instrument microphone um, for my birthday, which which is July second, by the way. So wish me a happy birthday, or else. But I'm really excited for this. Uh, my dad has this instrument microphone. He said he was gonna look for it, and then I thought he just kind of forgot about it, but apparently he was trying to surprise me on my birthday, so there it is. Pretty cool. You know, I play piano. Um, I really enjoy that, and so one thing that I would like to do this year uh, before it's over is record myself playing some songs on the piano and put that on YouTube as well. So maybe that's finally an excuse to show my face for once, which people would be excited about. I think you'll be disappointed to find I'm in fact not a cow. It was, it was a lie the whole time. Um... <laughs> But yeah, I'm really excited for this, because the thing is, you can record, you know, I have a, a Blue Yeti, is what I use as the microphone that I'm using right now. You can record music with that, but it really doesn't sound very good. You you kind of need to have, like, a special instrument microphone to really make, you know, quality recordings, that sort of thing. Maybe I'll make a video about this someday, this concept. I better rotate the camera here a bit. Um, but when you do something, it becomes difficult to appreciate other people doing it, in a sense. I've even felt that way about casting sometimes. You'll hear me say often this phrase, like, but, well, it's his game. And what I'm trying to say is, like, I really wouldn't play this way, but, like, I don't I don't decide how he's playing this game, right? That doesn't, that shouldn't matter to me. Um, and the reason is because, you know, playing D.O.K. so much, it's like when I see someone make a decision that I wouldn't make, I'm like, ooh, that doesn't seem right to me, and it's almost difficult to accept it, you know what I mean? This is something I feel a lot about piano. I play piano, right? And once I learn a song on the piano, I just can't listen to any recording of someone else playing it because it's like, oh my gosh, you know, he's doing all this like ridiculous stuff. I hate this, you know. It's difficult to uh, it's difficult to enjoy it the same way as you know if you've if you've not like played it. Kind of carry misses are ridiculous, by the way. You see that? Um, <laughs> so <clears throat> that's one reason I want to make recordings of myself playing these songs is because really it's kind of the only way that I can enjoy it these days. <laughs> I'm sorry to admit. Um, and that's not to say that I'm like a really good pianist. Uh, I consider myself pretty okay at it, but I'm certainly no concert pianist, you know what I mean? But um, at least I'd be playing it the way that I feel like it should be played. So, you know. And if I'm gonna make these recordings of songs, I think, you know, it'd be, it'd be fun to put them up on YouTube. Um, so yeah, look out for that. I don't, I don't know when I'll get around to that, but my grandparents are going to let me use their Steinway, which is really exciting as well, so... Now that I've got the, uh, now that I've got the equipment, I'm very excited to do that. I've just got to talk about it. There's this guy, uh, I think his name is like Lang Lang or something, but he plays like Debussy songs, and it's like, man, it seems like he's doing figurative dance or something, you know what I mean? <laughs> Sarah would always joke that he needs to get a room with his piano. I, I agree. <laughs> it's just like, that's... It's got nothing to do with the music, whether or not you're making silly faces, you know what I mean? <laughs> so... That guy, like, insufferable. And I don't even think he plays it very well, so you can't just, you know, listen to the... Listen to the audio and just be okay with that. It's like... The only way that that audio can be justified is if you've got him making these stupid facial expressions, and then it's just even worse. Oh, man. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I think, curiously, I've built up sort of a following of people who are actually interested in my content, which is always surprising to me. Um, so, you know, I hope, I hope no one's put off, I guess what I'm trying to say is, by, uh, me making some different kind of content, like making, uh, you know, recordings of music that I played. Because, you know, I don't mean to, like, forsake, you know, D.O.K. by doing this. It's just, you know, something that interests me that I've always kind of wanted to do, so. Um, but I am grateful for everyone who watches. 
it's fun to, you know, look at the analytics page and see that people are watching this crap, you know. Seems people actually enjoy it, so I'll keep making it. Um, that really excites me. You know, it's cool. So, I'm really grateful for people who, uh, people who watch, people who leave comments as well, set the algorithm, can favor me. I'm just kidding there. Obviously, that that's the joke. You know, I have no aspirations of, like, making money off of this. Um, but it's fun. That's really all it's ever been for me, so. It's fun, and I feel like, you know, Homeworld deserves it. I guess I should say that as well. Because just, just look at what we're watching right now. This game's beautiful, right? Makes me think of Homeworld 3 coming out not too long now. It'll be about a year and a half. Um, and I'm really excited for that. So, you know, I feel like I ought to make more things... You know, be, be a little bit more active on YouTube and on Twitch, so that by the time Homeworld 3 comes around, I've actually sort of hit my stride on, like, what I'm actually doing. Again, not because I've got aspirations of becoming famous, but I'm just, you know... It's fun for me, and I feel like it's good for the game, so... Don't know what else there is to say, so we can just kind of watch this unfold. Very cinematic. Uh, but I hope that's kind of an explanation of, like, where I've been... Why I haven't, you know, why I haven't been around quite as much as I was before. It's not because I hate you. <laughs> Just because, you know, I've had I've had kind of a tough year, so. Hopefully I can turn it around. 2021 is only half over, you know what I mean? So there's still time to go. Oh, this looks terrible. <laughs> Missy. Oh, a total miss. What was that? <laughs> Just goes to show, not all Conf carrier missiles are created equal, right? It takes some actual skill to use this stuff. Oh yeah, I remember this very distinctly. <laughs> Yeah, again, if you if you know what game this is, you know, go ahead and leave a comment about it. And I'll mock you bitterly if you get it wrong. But I guess we'll just kind of watch it unfold. Hopefully you've been paying attention to how many artifacts are extracted, because obviously that HUD element is gone when I do Control H like this. <laughs> this is one of the great photo finishes of the Draki Cups. Very tasty. I'm wearing a tie, right? I'm wearing a suit, because, you know, that's what you do. I was playing the organ today, so, you know, gotta wear a suit, gotta look dapper. But I'm wearing a tie that's, like, a big American flag. That's the most American thing you've ever heard. You know, I really like doing fireworks on the 4th of July, but uh, the city doesn't allow us to do it this year because it's too dry. It'll cause fires, so that's kind of a bummer. Otherwise, I'd be going to my parents' home today, and we'd, you know blow up a bunch of boxes. <laughs> Man, this is a real F2 click moment, look at this. Like, even the salvagers and stuff are like, I guess these assault ships are just totally holding off the bases. <laughs> Zero mining going on over here. So why is this carrier just chilling out on this side? It should be, it should be over here probably, right? His game, his game! <laughs> See, that's what I mean. It's difficult to, uh... Sometimes it's difficult to watch people make mistakes. But, like, you gotta realize, it's not necessarily a mistake, it's just, you know, you wouldn't play it this way. Although, in this case, I think it's probably a mistake. This isn't quite like I remember. I thought that there were three base runners. Oh, there are! 
literally is just hiding. I think the red player is sand skewers here actually, so. Thanks for your smoke, man. Good ability. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, and I guess I'll see you in the next one. Adios. No, that means that means I'll never show up again. That's not what I mean.